Scene script. Have you ever wondered what candidiasis and yeast infections are and why they're such common health issues? Well, let's delve into this topic and demystify these prevalent conditions. Candidiasis, also known as a yeast infection, is an overgrowth of the candida fungus, which naturally resides in our bodies. While candida is generally harmless, problems arise when there's an imbalance, causing this fungus to multiply rapidly. This can occur in various parts of the body, such as the mouth, throat, gut, and most commonly, the genital area. Now you might be wondering, how common are these infections? The answer is quite common indeed. In fact, it's estimated that three out of every four women will experience at least one yeast infection in their lifetime. Men, on the other hand, are less likely, but still susceptible. Candidiasis doesn't discriminate by age either. It can affect individuals from babies to the elderly. Recognizing the symptoms is key to managing these infections. Common signs include itching, burning, redness, and a thick white discharge in the case of genital yeast infections. Oral thrush, another form of candidiasis, is characterized by white patches in the mouth, sore throat, and difficulty swallowing. If left untreated, these infections can lead to more serious complications, such as the spread of the fungus into the bloodstream, resulting in a condition called invasive candidiasis. But before your worry levels shoot up, let's remember that knowledge is power. By understanding what candidiasis is, its prevalence and the symptoms, we can take proactive steps towards prevention and treatment. Now that we've touched on what candidiasis and yeast infections are, Let's move on to how we can manage these conditions. We'll explore treatments, lifestyle changes, and how something as simple as a sitz bath can make a world of difference. So, stay tuned as we journey into the world of candidiasis management together. Ever heard of a sitz bath? It's a simple yet effective method to alleviate the discomfort from candidiasis and yeast infections. So, what exactly is a sitz bath? Well, it's a warm, shallow bath that covers your hips and buttocks. You sit in it. It's as straightforward as that. The name comes from the German word sitzen, meaning to sit. But why would you want to sit in warm water? The benefits are numerous. The warm water increases blood flow to the lower part of your body, which can help reduce inflammation, promote healing, and relieve discomfort. When it comes to candidiasis and yeast infections, a sitz bath can be a real game changer. The warm water can soothe the irritated skin, providing immediate relief. Plus, it's a natural remedy. No need for any chemical-based products or medications. Sounds easy, right? Now let's delve into how exactly to use a sitz bath for these conditions. So you're probably wondering, how do I use a sitz bath to help with candidiasis and yeast infections? Well, let's dive into the step-by-step -step process. First things first, you need to prepare your sitz bath. This is a shallow bath that fits over your toilet seat. You can easily find it in stores or online. Now fill it with lukewarm water, making sure it's not too hot to avoid burns. Aim for a temperature that's comfortable for your skin. Next step, adding in the ingredients. For dealing with candidiasis and yeast infections, we recommend using a mixture of apple cider vinegar and warm water. Apple cider vinegar is known for its antifungal properties, which can help in fighting off the yeast infection. Mix in about two cups of apple cider vinegar to the lukewarm water in your sitz bath. Now let's talk about how to properly use a sitz bath. Once the bath is ready, carefully position yourself on the seat. Make sure that the affected area is completely immersed in the water. Relax and soak for about 15 to 20 minutes. This is your time to unwind, read a book, or listen to some calming music. The idea here is to allow the mixture to work its magic on the affected areas. After soaking, gently pat the area dry with a clean, soft towel. It's crucial to keep the area dry as yeast thrives in moist environments. Resist the urge to rub or scrub as this could cause irritation. Now, let's discuss some tips for maximum effectiveness. When dealing with yeast infections, it's important to remember that consistency is key. Aim to take a sitz bath at least once a day until your symptoms improve. Additionally, Consider wearing cotton underwear and loose clothing to keep the area dry and prevent further irritation. It's also important to maintain a healthy diet. Foods rich in probiotics, such as yogurt and fermented foods, can help maintain a healthy balance of bacteria in your body and prevent yeast overgrowth. Now, some things to avoid. Firstly, 
Avoid using harsh soaps or bubble baths as they can disrupt the natural balance of bacteria and exacerbate your symptoms. Secondly, refrain from using scented products in the affected area as they can cause further irritation. Remember, everyone's body reacts differently, so what works for one person may not work for another. Always listen to your body and consult with a healthcare professional if your symptoms persist or worsen. And there you have it, a simple doable process that can help alleviate the symptoms of candidiasis and yeast infections. You're now equipped with the knowledge to take control of your health. So go ahead, give it a try. Your body will thank you for it. Now that we've gone through the process, let's take a moment to recap the key points we've discussed. We started off by defining candidiasis and yeast infections. Candidiasis, also known as a yeast infection, is a common condition caused by a type of yeast called candida. This yeast can live in various parts of our body without causing any harm, but under certain conditions, it can multiply and cause an infection. The common symptoms of this condition include itching, burning, redness, and a thick, white discharge. However, it's essential to note that these symptoms can vary depending on the area of the body affected. We then introduced a simple, yet effective tool to help manage these infections, the Sitz Bath. A Sitz Bath is a warm, shallow bath that cleanses the perineum, which is the space between the rectum and the vulva, or scrotum. It's a time-tested method that can provide relief from the discomfort caused by yeast infections. The warm water increases blood flow to the area, promoting healing and soothing the irritated skin. It's an easy and natural way to alleviate symptoms at home. Next, we went through the step-by-step -step process of using a sitz bath for candidiasis and yeast infections. First, fill the tub with warm water, then add a mild, unscented soap or a doctor-recommended solution. Following this, sit in the tub for about 15 to 20 minutes. The key here is consistency. Doing this once won't magically cure the infection, but incorporating it into your daily routine can help manage symptoms and speed up the healing process. Remember, maintaining good personal hygiene and seeking timely medical advice are vital in managing candidiasis and yeast infections. It's always important to consult with a healthcare professional if you're experiencing any symptoms or if you have any concerns. While sitz baths can provide relief, they are not a substitute for professional medical treatment. So stay informed, stay healthy, and take care of your body. We've covered a lot today about candidiasis, yeast infections, and how a sitz bath can help. Our journey into the world of these common yet often misunderstood health issues has been enlightening. We've dived deep into the nature of candidiasis and yeast infections, unraveling their intricacies and shedding light on their impact on our bodies. The importance of gaining a thorough understanding of these conditions really cannot be overstated. Knowledge, after all, is our first line of defense. We've also explored the beneficial role of a sitz bath in managing these conditions. This simple at-home remedy can provide relief and promote healing, showing us that sometimes the best solutions are the ones right at our fingertips. But remember, it's not a cure-all. It's a tool in our health toolbox to be used alongside other measures and treatments. Now, while we've shared a lot of information, it's crucial to note that this is just a starting point. Health is a complex, multifaceted entity, and it's different for everyone. What works for one person might not work for another. So, it's all about finding what works best for you in consultation with healthcare professionals. We can't emphasize this enough. If you have any concerns or symptoms, it's imperative to consult with a healthcare professional. Self-diagnosis can be risky, and while the internet is a vast resource of information, it can't replace the expertise of a trained medical professional. They can provide accurate diagnoses and effective treatment plans tailored to your unique needs. So, as we wrap up our discussion today, Let's carry on.